for tools you'll need a cleaner and a slip solution which can be a dedicated mix or you can make your own with soap and water you'll also need a tack solution which is 10 percent alcohol and water some needed polish at the end a squeegee with a monkey strip on it and the pre-cut piece the first step is to clean the hood since this pre-cut piece will fit on the top side of the hood and not wrap around there's no need to open it make sure you get 100 percent coverage with the cleaner then with a high absorbent microfiber towel wipe off the moisture and dirt. Next, spray it again with a soap and water solution, then use a clay bar or a clay bar towel to smooth the hood surface. Next, spray it again with a cleaning solution to remove the soapy residue from the clay barring process. Now you're ready to apply the PPF film and it's always a good idea to hang it loose and with a microfiber towel remove any specks of dirt that might be on it then spray the hood generously with the slip solution. Be sure to get full coverage left to right and top to bottom. Lay the PPF piece with the liner side facing up, release the liner and be sure to spray the adhesive side right away. Make sure you spray evenly and pull low and flat with the liner so the piece of PPF stays on the hood. Spray the adhesive side so it's fully covered with the solution, then spray your hands so no fingerprints get on the adhesive side. Flip the piece over and lay it on the hood. Make sure the wrinkles are even left to right. It's also very important that the piece slides and glides. If it sticks right away, that means that there's not enough slip solution underneath the film. Pick it back up and spray. Now, because there's a pre-cut piece, it's very important to start at one corner at the front and lock it in place. Make sure that the piece of PPF is a one eighth of an inch away from the edge of the hood. Pull the line up along the top, make sure it's even and wrinkle free, and then lock it in place. Again, make sure that there's a one eighth of an inch gap on the edge. Then squeegee to a body line to anchor this section in place. This will make it easy to install the other side. Pull the other side evenly and match the corner again. Then pull the tension evenly so there's minimal wrinkles on the hood, then squeegee the edge. Always start with the corners and edges on either side, and this will mean that the front will line up perfectly. Make sure there's no tension and then squeegee it in place. With the top section during this process of locking in the front, this area may dry. So spray slip solution again, then simply squeegee up and away. Make sure these squeegee strokes overlap and you apply firm pressure. If there are wrinkles, be sure not to wrinkle towards them, but shift them away with a 45 degree angle. Again, overlap the squeegee strokes and be extra thorough. Avoid having any bubbles or moisture left behind, as this will be difficult to remove. Then make sure you squeegee in a triangle shape to shift the tension. So squeegee away, and this means the wrinkles will evenly shift out and the moisture will come out from underneath the film for a nice, easy, flat finish. Once the moisture is out on the top section, then it's time to push the moisture out with a microfiber towel. Put a squeegee in the microfiber towel and squeegee up towards the edge. This will soak up any moisture and keep it from going back underneath the PPF film, which may cause it to lift. Once the top section is dry, then it's time to focus on the bottom half. And during this time, it may have dried out, so you may need to spray slip solution, but if not, simply spray the top of the PPF so the squeegee can glide, Make sure there's no wrinkles that will bunch up with the squeegee stroke. Then, if there's a difficult section, pick it back up, spray it with a slip solution, allow the material to relax, shift it down so that everything aligns in terms of the edges, and again, make sure that the edges do not go around the edge of the hood. The edge of the PPF film should always come short. Now, simply squeegee the material towards the edge with a firm overlapping squeegee stroke that goes across the body line, and because of the slip solution, there are certain edges that might pop up. If this is the case, there's nothing to worry about. This is when you need to break out the tack solution, which again is 10% alcohol and water. Spray underneath the film, and what this does is washes out the slip solution, so now when you squeegee, the material will stick. Final step is to take the microfiber towel in a squeegee and push the moisture out from the edge, so the edge sticks properly on the hood and there's no lifting. Now some good final steps are to spray the PPF piece again and go over it with the squeegee to double check for bubbles. Once this quality control is done and all the edges are 100% sealed, 
Then it's time to remove any soapy residue from not only the hood area, but the grill so it looks client ready. And if you have any further questions about how to install PPF pre-cut pieces on hoods, you can contact rvinyl.com.